So, uh, what the purpose and scope of our work? Uh, we have mainly work on three blocks. It's affiliate recognition and derecognition process, uh, which was done from uh, by our one of the subcommittee. Uh, we are working on co affiliate conflict management. Exactly, uh, my colleague Wojciech is from that subcommittee. We are trying to uh, fix any issues and uh, resolve the problems in the affiliate. affiliate. Uh, we are working on affiliate capacity building. Uh, some work already done. For example, we uh, prepared a bylaw uh, development uh, video and our resources for our affiliates. But um, many uh, things needs to be done, and in near future we'll uh, present that too. And moment contribution. It's mainly that we are uh, attending different conferences, uh, regional, international. Uh, within the, our work uh, and presenting the Afcon work and uh, helping the community to better understand our uh, input. Uh, starting with uh, our subcommittee work, um, in recognition committee, the process is that when you are submitting the user group, uh, our staff members uh, starting the criteria review process and if you are uh, in line with all criteria, uh, we're starting searching uh, the thematic or geographically uh, purpose of your affiliate. And if you are uh, like crossing the lines in different affiliates, we are asking them to provide some feedback about you. Uh, and then uh, if er everything is good, uh, the committee is starting to review uh, that application. And the, at the end, we are voting to recognize or not of your affiliates. But mainly we are recognized all affiliates. Uh, in ch uh, chapters and thematic organization uh, recognition process, it's more formal and it's uh, some kind of different than user groups because, uh, well, when you are becoming the chapter or thematic organization, it needs to be uh, registered in your country and have a non-profit uh, status within the country. Uh, there we are asking for you uh, to provide bylaws of your organization for us. Uh, and after that, we are starting to checking up your bylaws. And if it's in line with the Wikimedia values and uh, in line with your country's uh, policy, we are asking to provide uh, for us uh, criteria review process, uh, criteria, and we are reviewing your uh, within in line in, with criteria. Uh, criteria reviewed by the staff and also by the AFCOM members. And the, at the end, uh, we are preparing a resolution for the Board of Trustees of the Wikimedia Foundation. There is just uh, to know that AFCOM is not recognizing the chapters or thematic uh, organization. It's Board of Trustees of Wikimedia Foundation recognizing that. Uh, about conflicts, it's my colleague will present. Yeah, un unfortunately, I'm the only conflict resolution team subcommittee member here. <laughs> we have two people more. They they, uh, they they are both, well, attending remotely, I hope, Benoit and, and Jeffrey. Uh, also, we have the rest of the recognitions committee here. That's uh, Joy, that's Bashak, and uh, Suyosh. Yeah, but conflict resolution. Sometimes when things don't go well in an affiliate or between affiliates, uh, you turn to us. And that's where we are made aware that something is going wrong. Please note, AFCOM does not proactively uh, investigate conflicts. Conflicts need to be submitted. Conflict situations need to be submitted to AFCOM uh, with an ask, with a request uh, to act on it. We have an internal review of the incoming materials. We've had some... Um, help from, from, from the outside by b with, with building uh, a case pack or uh, ways to proceed. We're, we're still learning this. We are all volunteers and we're not professionals in conflict resolution always. Uh, this is also where a case lead is assigned to, to a conflict. Someone who will be working with this particular uh, case from the beginning to the end. Uh, we do our investigations. 
we do our investigations ourselves or we ask uh, other teams at the foundation to assist us. We might work with trust and safety. We might work with legal, we might work with grants. Uh, this is where it all gets interconnected. Uh, how do we do investigations? Well, it does depend on the case. We, we might just do email correspondence, we might do interviews, um, meetings online, meetings in person. Uh, we, try to reach a, we try to reach a conclusion. Um, at, the, at the end of the process, I'm sorry, we present our findings to the whole committee during, uh, during our monthly meeting, and the whole committee uh, also gets a chance to comment uh, on, on, on what we have found in our investigations, what next steps we propose, if any. And at the end, uh, we make an agreement. We either we, we, we communicate our decision, AFCOM's decision, to uh, to whoever uh, reported uh, a conflict case, and we like to follow up on, uh, on 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 stuff. I'm I'm happy to say that that things that I did in the past for AFCOM, I followed up on them. They were resolved. The the, the conflict doesn't return. <laughs> Which is which is good, and I want and I want it to stay this way. Well, basically, I don't want to deal with any conflicts uh, for start, but <laughs> uh, hope hope there aren't any. Um, so this is the main workflow of uh, of the conflict uh, intervention subcommittee, and I'll hand it back to Mehman. No, to Dumisani. I'll hand it over to Dumisani, who is one of our two staff support people. The other is Manov, sitting over there. Um, I'll hand it over to Demisani for to tell you about compliance monitoring. Uh, thanks, Wojciech. Um, I'll run this through this one quickly. So, you've heard about the recognition, you've heard about the conflicts, but what happens in between with Afcom once you have been recognised as a as a group? Well, this compliance monitoring. Um, which is where you most likely have received an email from me if you are an affiliate um, contact person saying, hey, your report is due in the next 30 days or you have um, gone past your reporting due date. So how does that work? Uh, for user groups, uh, which is the first side, you are going to get uh, four notices from me in terms of the compliance for your report uh, submission. At the end of the, the four notices, if you still haven't submitted your report, which means around six months after the date that your report was due for your affiliate, it gets into what we call an automatic day recognition. So your affiliate status lapses. And for you to get it back, you need to do submit a new application. For chapters and thematic organizations, which is uh, longer reports, financial audits, and so on, we give them up to nine months to comply from the date that they, uh, their, their recognition was, was done. And again, for them as well, once uh, they haven't submitted that report after nine months, they get into what we call a de-recognition process, which is more conversations about what's going on into the chapter and is it remediable. If it is not remediable, you end up with that chapter losing its status as well. Uh, so that takes a little bit longer. Two updates on this. AFCOM has realized after the pandemic that happened and with the on ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine, that there are circumstances where affiliates will not be able to uh, provide a report due to circumstances outside of their control. So we've, we've introduced an additional status in the compliance, which we call a deferred status. Now, that deferred status means you need to send us an email and say, hey, there's things happening in my country that's present, preventing me from being able to run activities or write a report. I do not want to lose this, the affiliation status, so I need an additional year to comply. And once that has been submitted, AFCOM reviews it, and you'll get that deferred status. It does not mean that it's a pass, it's a free pass. Mm -hmm. At the end of the... Uh, extension time you'll have given, you still need to tell us what you did during that, that time of the deferment status. Uh, the last update on the compliance is AFCOM has been asked many times, what's a model activities report looking like? And so they've been working on a standardized reporting format 
which will then be shared with uh, affiliates going forward. So you can understand how better to report the impacts of the work that your organization is doing. And that's me. Yeah, I just want to add here that uh, to submit, like to prepare a report, it's not so complicated. Uh, we recognize that different like user groups and affiliates have different, uh, different possibilities to have uh, any activities. So uh, just even if you are meeting online or doing some edit -at -on online, it's also activity. So you can put that activities to your report and submit for us. And this is our internal workflow management process. Uh, as an AFCOM, like committee, we have monthly meetings where participated all AFCOM members and plus staff and plus uh, the board, li board liaisons. And even uh, the guests, if there is need. Uh, plus, uh, we have officers meeting. Uh, this meeting between uh, AFCOM chair, uh, vice chair, treasurer, and uh, secretary. Plus, uh, our advisors and board of trustees liaisons also taking part on this. We have two uh, subcommittee uh, meetings uh, for recognition one and for the in our one for conflict subcommittee, where we in detail uh, way discussing the all issues what exist or all uh, activities what we need to done. Uh, we have office hours because uh, well for time zone or uh, time management some of the AFCOM members can attend maybe uh, the monthly or uh, subcommittee meetings so for that we are giving the possibilities uh, to them uh, ask the, their questions or their needs uh, to staff uh, and we have special uh, uh, meetings if there is requ a request from uh, affiliates or I don't know anyone can uh, submit their request for us on demand meetings, yeah. Uh, yeah, basically that's all from AFCOM. Uh, if you have any questions uh, or if you want to meet us, you can send the email to afcom at wikimedia.org. Uh, you can uh, see uh, all information on MetaWiki on our page, and you can follow us on social media, like Facebook, the, the most active one. That's all, thank you. Yeah, questions. That's the most important thing. Questions are going to be taken by our colleagues. Yeah. I think. Did my question? I think I want to ask. Um, maybe it's not. It's a bit much. Two question for different division. First, for the recognition. Uh, is there any specific criteria that user group can be? form and why it why it is was rejected because there's an affiliate ch chapter in the region is there any specific criteria because there's some case that was accepted and there's some case it was rejected because still now i did i didn't know any specific criteria was it was rejected or was accepted because sometimes i come just say that oh because our discussion it is coincide what another chapters region so we doesn't accept it that and the second question is, the, is there any specific timeline to address a conflict that's happened in the affiliate? Because sometimes when we submit a problem, the problem has been become bigger and bigger over time, and there's no, con there's no resolution of this after Upcom come to us. Thank you. Sorry about the question. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Do you want interest or? <laughs> OK. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, OK, about recognition. Uh, well, for recognition, we have clear criteria, which is listed on the MetaWiki. Uh, for user groups, for chapters, for thematic organization, you will, you need to follow these criteria and submit your application. And there is specific dates, like spe specific timeline, because, well, recognition is uh, um, like different than conflict, because in conflict side, there is no uh, timeline, because, well, this is conflict. Uh, but for recognition, we have timeline. Uh, it's uh, around uh, one or two months to become the recognized by affiliation code if of course there is no any um, specific issues uh, with your uh, geographical scope or thematic scope uh, yeah there is timeline and uh, regarding the like crossing lines between the affiliates we are trying uh, to solve this issue with uh, all affiliates 
if, uh, for example, there is some situation, then we can meet between the affiliates and set up bridge between you, so you can uh, solve with that affiliates your issues. And if your uh, application was denied, that's not a problem. After six months, you can reapply with more better situation. If I can add a clarification to that, when we have a new application for an affiliate, we always look at what's happening in your geographic region or your thematic region. Are there any organizations that are already operating there? And we always ask them, is it okay for you to have a new affiliate operating in your area? Uh, if they say yes, of course, the, the affiliate status is granted. If they say no, we try to search for ways to work with existing affiliates so as not to so as to prevent conflicts in the future because if if at the start existing affiliates don't agree to a new affiliate being created well that's going to result in some nasty situations in the future yeah that is only one minute anyone oh <laughs> uh, first it's um, adam okay very short but not easy question um, as AFCOM <laughs> members, what is your take on the MCDC propositions and the transformation into a global council for recognizing affiliations? Yeah, it's so well the question. Uh, so it's quickly, if I say, we are closely work with MCDC team, like we have me online meetings with them, uh, we discuss our work, we present our workflow for them, and we acknowledge that they are prepared some uh, ideas for us on MCDC. Uh, we also work with a board of trustees to prepare the affiliate strategy, which will be realized in coming months, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, we are taking ac active steps with the MCDC and with the board of trustees on strategies and on in the future. So, that's a very quick question. Like answer. Quick question? Well, most quick question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello, everyone. Um, we are from Wikipedia. Oh, we are from Timor Leste, and we are representative for Wikipedia Tetun in uh, between Australia and Indonesia. In yeah, Indonesia, we know. In the middle, okay. East Timor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is our first time in Wikimania. Uh, we would like to um, apply for the affiliation for the Wikipedia Te Wikipedia Timor Leste, but some of uh, we some of us is are new in the Wikipedia. And it's not. Uh, a lot editing. If is possible to we run the affiliation to be user group. Yeah, sure. Uh, there is two way. I, you if you want like to listen us, you can reach out for any of our uh, members from here uh, during the conference days, or you can reach out via email afcom at wikimedia org, and we can like arrange a meeting or we will provide the more specific resources. But all resources, as I said, it's on MetaWiki. You just need to search Affiliations Committee. At the bottom there is a template and all resources by Afcom is there. So that's it. That's all. Thank you.